the Whitecaps stroke out to the early lead on a set piece, with Lucas Valenai striking the post and Blackman cleaning up the rebound, and opting not to celebrate in front of the 32-52. But how AFC matched defender goal with defender goal. Hollings had connected his head on a Bila delivered corner in the 27th minute to even the score. And then, on a play starting with a throw in D in Vancouver's end of the field, Wadapa who worked hard to get through the Caps defense and get the ball to Bila. The LAFC talisman was thwarted on his first attempt at goal but nailed the follow through to put the hosts up 2-1. to one. LAFC continued to put pressure on the White Caps defense to start the second half. On a second chance ball on a 78th minute corner kick, LAFC struck again, with Hollings head putting in his second goal of the match on a blistering shot that got past Thomas Hazel. Hazel's former teammate, Maxime Cripeau, wasn't nearly as tested in the opposite goal after his former teammate's opening 20 minutes. The big picture, life's good for new LAFC head coach Steve Chirudolo for matches into his debut season. This first installment of the Cripo Cup not only highlighted the array of offensive weapons LAFC can deploy, but also showed how good Cripo is and how much better LAFC might be with a keeper of his caliber for a full season. While milliliters seasons are long and sometimes queer, the black and gold have the look of a team that will be contending in the postseason. The Caps, meanwhile, don't seem to have the mojo they rode to the playoffs once Danny Sartini took charge late last season and though Ryan Paul and Brighton White weren't available for this one, the funk they're in so far in 2022 seems to run deeper than just that. M-O-M-E-N of the match, if you've watched Milliliter the last few seasons, you know Hollingshead is a 